Hearing Works by Lily, Shreya, and Bailey. Sound waves. Sound is sent by particles in a solid liquid or gas. Then a wave is created by the vibrating items from one location to another. A vibrating object can be a sound that's produced by a drum, speaker of a radio, the mouth of a person, a car engine, a plane above the sky, etc. The types of waves that are sound waves are mechanical, longitudinal waves. Sound waves are compression waves. In this case, that the disturbance of the molecules is in the same direction as the transmission of the wave. A sound wave is a mechanical wave. Parts of the ear. Some parts of the ear are the ear canal, the eardrum, the auditory nerve, the auditory canal, and the station tube. There is a diagram of the ear. Fun facts. Did you know that the smallest bones are found in your ear and dogs can hear certain sounds that humans can't? This is because dogs can hear higher pitched sounds better. On the outer ear, having an ear flap is also known as a pinna. The pinna has the job of grabbing and leading the sound to the eardrum. The complicated folds of the skin and the cartilage of the pinna is the fleshy part you can see. It is able to attach to the skull by ligaments and muscles. The earlobe is the only part not supported by framework. It may seem like it, but the random, uh, the, but the ran it's not a random act of creativity. The hills and valleys of the pinna work with the sound and change the spectrum. The pinna of the the pinna helps the ear because it lives to catch sound waves. Your outer ear is pointed to the, in the front and it has a lot of uh, curves. This structure of the ear helps you know the direction of sound. If the sound is coming from behind or above you, you, it, above you then it will the bounce off the pinna in a different way. Middle ear. The parts of the middle ear are the eardrum, the station tube, malleus, incus, and the staves. When sound enters the eardrum, it starts to vibrate. Once it starts to vibrate, it turns the sound energy into mechanical energy. The opening of the station tube makes the pressure beat in the middle and its surroundings air. Sound vibrations that the eardrum has makes the makes the malleus vibrate. The incus is known as the anvil. It starts to vibrate from the response of the hammer. Then it brings it to the stirrup. The stirrup passes compressional waves to the inner ear. Inner ear. The parts of the yeah. inner, ear, inner ear are the cochlea, the cochlea nerve, semicircular canals, vestibular nerve, and the round windows. How does sound travel through each part? Cochlea. Sound travels through the cochlea and the cochlear nerve, nerves, vestibular, vestibular. They help send the signal to your brain. Semicircular canals. They provide sensors, sensory input for experiences of ro rotary movements. How sound travels through the inner ear. The stirrup pushes pressure waves into the cochlea. As the wave moves along the walls of the cochlea, made out of fibers, they encounter fibers with the correct resonance frequency and energy is released. They move to small hair cells which move. That's the cochlea. The voices of our self make sound when air is let out from our lungs, which then rapidly goes through the larynx, which then makes the vocal cords open and close quickly or vibrate. With this vibration, it makes a tone that we can make either into our throats, make spatial resonance chambers or cavities, which is made, which is inside the skull, then it creates volume and resonance. <coughs> the vocal cords do three important things. They keep the airway safe from choking on material inside the throat, and they help us control the flow of air coming to our lungs. They also make sounds for speech. The structure of the vocal cords starts with the epithelium. These are thin layer cells. Then there's the super, superficial layer of the lamina propria. This layer has elastin floors, fibers, and collagen. Finally, there's the thyroba calls mus muscle, and this is the vocal cords. Bibliography. We use dha.com, themedicinenet.com, evmcent.org, voicesource.com, Vocal Brilliance.
Science.com, GlobalBioWeather.com, and HowStuffWorks.com. There's a book.